Hi, I'm Linda and welcome to Barlati's Body Blitz Standing Bar Glutes. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat if you're working out on hard floor, a resistance loop. If you don't have one of these, you can tie a long resistance band in the knot so that you have a nice loop that will give you some good resistance because we will be doing glute work, which means you can use a heavier one and a chair or support to hold on to just for balance. Okay, you won't need the loop for the warm up, so just put that off to the side. And I want you to stand with your legs approximately hip width apart, your feet are turned out, and just start squatting down, sending your glutes towards the back. I want your tummy pulled in, your back is really nice and flat, and we're just squatting, using our fingertips as a guide, so we're starting to get nice and low. Make sure you don't round through the back, your upper body is nice and relaxed, and we're just really warming up through those glutes, through those hips, even a little bit of quad as well. Sink a little bit lower as you get warmer for four, three, two, one. Now we're going to walk our way out, two, three, and back. It's one, two, three, and back. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and in. So you're starting to stretch your legs as well through the inner thigh. Two, three, and in. One, two, three, and in. Back, two, three, and in. Twice more. Two, three, and last one. One, two, three. Now keep your legs a little bit wider and just start reaching down and rolling through the feet. Make sure your back is flat, your tummy's in, and you're trying to sink low. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now just doubles and doubles, doubles, doubles. Just for four more. Three, two, and one. Nice job, walk your feet in. Now, legs close together and we're just gonna send our glutes down as we reach forward. So again, flat back, legs in a parallel position this time and coming down low. Always keep a light bend in the knees. Really warming up through those glutes now. Four, three, two, one. Now stay down and just bounce through the glutes. Bounce. Make sure that you're sitting your hips all the way back so your knees are not coming past your toes and you're just bouncing a little bit longer. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job rolling it up. Now grab your loop and we're going to put it just around our calves. So it's pretty much mid calf not too far down, not too far up. Depending on how tight your loop is, it's easier the further up the loop is. So if your loop is super tight because it's new, then you can put it right up underneath your knees. And if it's really loose, put it right down the bottom, okay? So now stand facing your support, and I want you to keep your legs separated wide enough so your loop is stretched even from the get-go, okay? Now hold your tummy in and tuck your hips forward, okay? See how I'm tucking my tailbone to the front? That's going to be a big key. Now just put your hands out and you're only really just holding on for a light support. Bring your foot behind you. So there's a nice wide stance. Tuck those hips again, push them forward and start raising. This tuck stops you from making it a really large range of motion. You're pushing your hips forward and you're lifting against the tuck. So you're squeezing that glute and as you push up, you're really just barely getting that toe off the ground. Focus on keeping your legs straight, both knees are facing towards the front here in the same parallel position, don't let your leg turn out yet. And I want you to squeeze your glute the entire time. Never relax it. The loop is always in tension. 
See how I, even on the down, the loop is in tension. So make sure your leg is far enough back. You're hinging forward, pulling your tummy in, keeping your back nice and flat, relaxing through the upper body. It's up and up, up and up. Squeeze that glute for another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold your leg up and push in and in, in and in. So you're pushing your leg across to meet the other inner thigh. Push and push. Keep it up. Keep your glutes tight and that hip is still tucked forward. In and in. Squeeze and squeeze. Really starting to feel that now. Keeping that squeeze on the glute the entire time. Tucking that hip forward the entire time. You can bend the supporting leg slightly. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to do a combination. It's in and up, in and up, in and up. Try to keep it high. You're gonna feel some hamstring as well. In and up, in and up. It's not a big move. You're not gonna see a lot happening here, but you need to fight for it. Just tense everything. Squeeze everything. In and up. All the way, in and up. Keep going. Keep fighting for it for four, three, two, one. Relax for a second. Deep breath, retuck those hips. Supporting leg is slightly bent. We're coming back up and it's a bend press. Bend press. Just press it straight behind the knee. Press it out. Press. Keep going, your toe is pointed. Squeeze that glute. Tuck those hips. A lot to think about here, form is everything. Go for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now just stop for a second, breathe. You can bend into that supporting leg a little bit. Now, same thing, tuck those hips. The leg is now going to turn out, so your knee is going to be open, your hip is going to be open, but your chest is going to be towards the support. This leg is parallel, the knee's pointing forward, and we're just going to bring our leg up, start a few raises in this position, so this is more like an attitude position. You can adjust your loop higher or lower, depending on how you want to feel it. And it's up and up, up and up. So now you're leading more with the outer hip outer glute area. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to rotate, circle. Circle through the toe. Are you tucking your hips forward? Really feeling that it's not high, it's a small motion. Circle it, keep going, point through the toe. Flex behind the knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax for a second. Attitude bend into that hip. Retuck the hips. Lean forward and circle the other way. So, whichever way you just circled, circle the other way. It doesn't matter which way first because we're going both directions. One side may feel a bit more uncoordinated than the other. That's okay. Keep going. Keep pushing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, release that for a second. We're nearly done. Just bend into this other hip. This is the one that's really feeling it for me. Okay, we're doing one more little bit. Tuck your hips, lean forward. Legs back, but turned out. 
bring it up and just bend press on that angle. Bend press on that angle. Last bit. Keep going. Keep tucking. Oh. Come on, you can do this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, nice job. Just bend into that. Bend into the other side. And we're going to do all of that on the other leg. So I'm going to move my chair across. Now, adjust your loop. Remember that if it's down further, it will hurt a little bit more. So if this is your weaker side, maybe you want to go lower so that you strengthen that, okay? Don't cop out. Okay, so you're standing with your legs apart so that there's already tension on the loop. <sighs> hips forward, then lean. Your hips are forward, so you're sucking your belly in and you're making like a C curve. Leg is behind and straight, and now start raising. Just start raising up. Remember, you're starting at a point where your glute is already engaged and then you're pulsing up from there. And you're fighting hard to keep your hips forward. Bend the supporting leg. It's going to be tiny because you're not gonna be able to move high. Your toes just tapping and then lifting back up. Keep your glute engaged the entire time. Make a fist out of that glute. Up and up, up and up. Keep breathing, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, remember across, keep your leg up. Remember to tuck your hips by bending this supporting leg. It helps you to tuck the hips a bit more and you're pushing your entire leg across, trying to meet the inner thigh of that other leg. Doesn't have to be high, just wherever you feel that glute engaging, and then push, push, push. Really squeeze, as if you've got an inflatable balloon or something in between those legs and you're trying to pop it. Squeeze, squeeze. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now remember, it's in and up, in and up. Tiny move, in and up, in and higher, in and higher. Keep going, in and up, in and up, in and up. Tuck those hips. I know they're gonna try and untuck because it's sore, but try. In and up for four, three, two, one. Relax for a second. All the air out, tuck your hips. Raise your leg, bend press, bend press. Keep going, straighten out that leg. Tuck those hips, tummies in, press. You're pointing your toe towards the back, press and press. Keep going, keep breathing. If ever you need to, take a break and come back whenever you can or take off the loop. You'll still feel this without the loop. Back and back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Relax for a second. Attitude. Stretch that out. Stretch that out. Now, remember the turnout position. So, Tuck your hips, 
lean, bend into your supporting leg, leg back and turn out. So see, my knee is now open slightly at 45 degrees, but I'm still far enough back, so there's a nice stretch on my loop. I'm tucking my hips, and I'm gonna just start with a few raises. This immediately burns my supporting leg. Up and up, it's tiny, it's tiny. It's not a big move, you're tucking, you're squeezing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now circle, circle, just circle. Any which way, circle it, keep your legs straight. Keep breathing, keep going. Point your toe in circle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other way, other way. Keep going. Tuck your hips, squeeze your buns. Really on fire. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, the shoot stretch into that other side. One last thing. Can you do it? Tuck your hips, lean. Leg back on an angle. We're doing bend press. Last thing in this position. Breathe out, tuck your hips, bend press. Bend, press, press. Straighten that leg, keep it high. You can do it. Press, nice flat spine, don't round your spine. Press, press. Keep going, keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, nice job. Stretch into that. Stretch into that. We're going to take the loop off for a second and do a figure four stretch before we go into the next segment. Oh, I can barely even sit back like this. Breathe out and just stretch your glutes back. And then other side, leg on top, breathe out, stretch your glutes back. One side might be tighter than the other, that's perfectly normal. Okay, we're going back to the first side, so I'm going to switch my chair. Put your loop back on, but this time it's going to be up higher above the knees. Okay, now. Because we've got it higher, as I said before, it actually is slightly easier. So I'm going to turn my chair so I've got a slightly lower surface. If you want to use the seat of your chair and sink even lower, you can. We're going to tuck our hips, come down. You can even rest your elbows on your surface, flat back. We're going to bring our leg up and just push up, push your heel to the ceiling, push up and up. You need to tuck your hips, okay, so once you feel the range of motion, tuck your hips under and work against the tuck. That's the most important thing here. You have to work against the tuck. It's up and up, up and up. Push your heel up to the ceiling. Right up. Squeeze your glute. Keep your neck nice and relaxed, your shoulders nice and relaxed, and just push. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. Now keep your leg up. We're doing bend and extend in this standing position. Tuck your hips, extend it long, flex your foot. Try to keep your glute up so you're engaging it. Stretch it. Stretch it. You're never relaxing the band. My band has a lot of tension on it right now. Tuck your hips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep it long. Point your toe. Large range of motion down up. Large range of motion. Tuck your hips, back is flat. Burning that out, really feeling it. A few more. Keep going. If you want to ever make this workout harder, put some ankle weights on. You'll never outgrow it. Squeeze your hips forward. Squeeze your glute. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Very last thing. Put your foot into that loop. Tuck your hips, lean forward and push. Push. If you bend your other leg, it will help and you'll feel that glute more. Push and push, push and push. Push away. Tummies are in, back is flat. Push and push, push and push. Keep pushing, tuck your hips. Last thing on this side, keep pushing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bring your leg back through. We're gonna to go to the other side, so make sure your loop is nice and flat there. Relax into that for a second. Other side, first side. I'm just gonna move my chair again. Okay, this is it, this is the home stretch. So face your support, tuck your hips, blow all the air out. Come forward and lean. Your back is flat. Your legs are slightly apart, about hip width. You're bringing your leg up and you're pushing to the ceiling. Push, flex your foot. Your hips are tucked. So the range of motion with your hips tucked is less than if you weren't tucking your hips. Push your belly button to your spine and keep that tuck. Make sure you're pushing straight up. You won't be able to go as high, but that's okay. Squeeze your glute. Make sure your legs are at least hip width apart so there's more tension on that band. Keep going. Keep pushing, last little bit. Squeeze and squeeze. Squeeze and squeeze. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep it up high and out and in. Out and in, tuck your hips, out and in. It doesn't matter if your leg is lower, it's not about height, it's about the tuck. That's the most important thing here. Even if your leg is low, work against the tuck and squeeze that glute. Out and in, out and in. Back is flat. Breathe, breathe. Think about doing a hamstring curl, bringing your heel to your glutes each time. Bonus hamstring work. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, keep your leg out, large range of motion. Tuck your hips, 
flow out as your leg comes up. Flex your foot. Keep going. You can do this. Keep breathing. Focus on your form. It's up and up. Up and up. Squeeze it. Never let up on the tension. Think about what you're working for. What results do you want? You have to push past the burn. If you only ever go up to the burn, you will not get results. You have to go past the burn and challenge yourself. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now quickly put the loop around your foot. Try to make it as flat as possible. Tuck your hips, lean forward and press back. Push and push, push and push. Last exercise. You can do this. Bend the supporting leg, feel it even more in that glute. Push back. Flexed foot. Try to keep your hips stable. Just tuck, squeeze and push. Push. Keep going. Home stretch. Push yourself. Last little bit. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, nice job. You can lose the loop. We're going to stretch out our hamstrings. Just bring your leg up. Oh, the hamstrings definitely felt that as well. If this is too high for you putting it on your support, then just do this on the floor. Other side, leg up and lean your chest towards that leg. Deep breaths. Then just for the hips and front of thighs, push that forward. And the other side, and you can hold these stretches a lot longer. The longer the better. And like we did before, the figure four stretch. So put your leg up onto your knee and send your glutes towards the back. The lower you sit down, the more you're gonna feel this. And then last thing, other side. This one definitely feels tighter for me. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you felt the burn like I did. The loop is definitely a great instrument of torture. I'll see you at the next segment.